off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay I need to start my videos here every single day but I don't want to start in my bed <laughs> because I look pretty disheveled um, but I have been awake way earlier way too much this morning than I wanted to be because I fell asleep at 3 a.m. so I really wish I had been able to sleep in but I woke up at 6 45 I don't remember what woke me up probably go to the bathroom Abby texted me soon after that we gotta go gotta go um that she did not get a stupid parking pass at the high school you have to like get in a lotto system and there's like a ranking um for it and she didn't get in didn't get a pass so she has to park way far away or pay 350 dollars to park at a church sorry nearby and um that like parking lot lotto basically ends tomorrow and it started today and so it's like but you can't you have to call and ask if they have an availability at that parking lot and it's just like this whole thing and then you have to print out a like a waiver form Ash I'm gonna take her to school um, and then I'll be back to do you um, anyway it was this whole thing and so she's at school she's upset um, that she didn't get a park Abby didn't get a parking pass and so then I, I'm awake and I'm having to print off this waiver form from my bed. Luckily, we have like the Bluetooth thing, but then the printer wasn't gonna work. And I was like, oh, I'll go down there and do it, but I have to call them first. So I might as well just lay here and check the news and check my email and all that kind of stuff. And then this one, <laughs> she should be in school. It's 9.30. Chesley, we really need to go. We need to brush your teeth, we need to go. Um, I'm gonna go. One minute and I have to school. I know that, but I have to be back soon. Okay, okay. So she's still home because, well, personal reasons. Should we say that? Personal reasons. I am going to go for my walk. I am gonna go. Um, I'm determined, so I'm taking my stuff with me just in case, even though I'm coming back home, I'm taking it with me. So she's home, and so then I was, she was texting me from bed, and she was like, hey, can I stay home? Can you take me? The problem is, but on a limited schedule this morning to get her to school because Ashley has um, a pulmonary appointment with Children's Hospital virtually. Tell me how you do a virtual appointment for a pulmonary appointment about her asthma on a virtual call. Like, I don't understand. Luckily, I wouldn't have done it virtual. I would have changed it from a virtual. I didn't realize it was virtual until last week. But um, I would have, I'm putting all of Ashley's cheer bows in her bag. We are so close to being at a two squad practice run. And so we have to really keep track of all of her gear. Because she's going to start with like three days a week of practices on three different Squads. So, anyway, I'm trying to keep track of all that stuff. So, where am I at here? So, Ashley has a pulmonary appointment. Luckily, she has not actually had to use her inhaler, hasn't had an asthma attack in probably six months or so. And so, I'm not terribly worried about like having her tested again, which we have done at Children's Hospital before. Um, so, I'm not worried about it, but like, it's just interesting that we have to do that on a virtual call. <laughs> so I'm gonna take Chelsea to school, which she doesn't seem in a rush to come and do, and then get back and do a virtual call with Ashley, with the doctor, and then get her to school. I wanted to sit in the parking lot at Ashley's school and do the call, but when I checked in with Children's Hospital for her appointment yesterday online, it said that I had to do the virtual call from the presence of my own personal home with the address on file, which I, I can't like pretend like I'm not in a car. <laughs> that it's not, I don't know, I mean, I, I guess I could say I'm in my car at my home. I'm ready to take her to school, I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I will do that just to get her into school. So 
as soon as I do all that, and if everything works out fine, I'm going to go for my walk. And I'm hoping by then that the sun actually comes out because I really want to have sunshine on my shoulders and on my face. I want to get hot. I want to feel sunshine and I want to feel it being outside. You got your backpack? All right. I'm going to take her to school. You need like a whole seat just for your backpack, man. Those things are huge. All right. Let's go. Okay, back at home. You really going to take that? Yeah. You got to put the straw in your bag, so r wash that. Uh, yeah. But is this Propel water or is this? Propel. Okay, so this is sticky. So rinse that off. I just rinse it off and put it in your bag, and then we will seal this up. Don't seal it. No, just keep it like that. Okay. Well, it's gonna spill. Yeah, if you turn it the other way, it's gonna spill even more. Okay. She's packed her lunch and gonna get her all ready for school. Correct. Okay, and then I'm gonna go get on the call. Okay, you're good. Yeah, dog go. That's a good plan. Okay. We didn't need to like reassess whether she has it or not. She hasn't had episodes of asthma um, for a couple months, six months or more. Seven. So we're not worried about it, but we're gonna get a doctor's note to keep at the school with an inhaler. Um, which we have to get a new one, even though we have a billion of them here at home because it has to come in the original prescription packaging. Why are there grapes all over the floor, my uh, friend? Oh, for my sakes, sloppy kids. Which means Kaylee didn't unload. Nope. nope. She went to work at like 7 a.m. this morning. <laughs> she went so early. So we will have, they won't have it ready for her today. I don't think I have any prescriptions in a box still. Oh, there is one. There is one, but they wanted to make sure that it had the new, like, protocol. Inhale two puffs one time a day for a month. Yeah, and this is for, oh, that's for Chelsea. I just yeah, so that would, no, no, you can't use that one. Because the school won't accept that one because that has Chelsea's name on it and the, the dosing is wrong. That one says you have to do it every day. No, I'm gonna get it. We don't want her to have to do it. We want her to do it whenever she needs to do it. Because we had to like change the protocol near the end of school last year. Because they were making her come down to do it and I had forgotten that she was using the inhaler at school and I'm like, she doesn't need to do it. Oh my goodness sakes, she doesn't need to do it. My bag is in the car, so I think she was like, she's never delayed a doctor's appointment like she was trying to delay this one. She's like, because then I have to go to school. <laughs> Yes, you have to go to school. Am I ready to go to the go on a walk? If I take you, if I go out right now, go get in the car. Here's my phone. My phone is the key. I'm gonna go get my water because I am. My shoes are in the car. My socks are in the car. I'm going on this walk. Maybe I should get something to drink real quick. I'm gonna fill this one up with ice water and that one with a protein drink, protein milk, and water. This forces me to like go for a walk. I do have pants and flip flops on with a sweatshirt and a tank top. That way I can change out of my pants, have the shorts and the tank top on and actually like go walking if I get, and like take off layers if I get hot. All right, <sighs> just got to the parking lot where I can go for a walk. Finally. Oh my goodness sakes. It's like, I literally put out one fire and another one lights. Dropped Ashley off at the school and got her, what do you call it? Oh, I talked to the nurse. Sorry, I'm taking off my pants. I have shorts on underneath. Um, we just explained um, the protocol for her asthma and I'm going to get the inhaler today and the note from the doctor tomorrow and take it all in and we should be good to go with that so I talked to her and then as I'm standing there I get a notice from my bank this is whatever that um my, our mortgage payment didn't go through we just signed on or our mortgage was just transferred to a new company and it, like the hassle of getting the payments to switch to the new uh, the new company is like been ridiculous 
Yeah. And uh, anyway, don't think one transferred. Or they pulled two. I don't know what happened. I only keep enough money in my actual checking account to cover our expenses. And so I just got to like go home and figure that all out. I'm like, did you pull two payments? I don't know. So, but I'm not going home. I'm not going to go home and figure it out yet. I'm going to go work out. I did get new shoes. These are my old Hoka's. I did get new shoes though. There's a lot of people here. I'm not going to open my door. There's a lot of people sitting in their cars. I had no idea how many cars, how many people were sitting in a car. I think a lot of people are on this trail. One, because it's a nice day. It's not raining. But also because of what I'm going to show you. I was actually going to go to the other park. But then I remembered I had to, I need to show you this. But there's a lot of people on the trail today. And I don't know how far I'll go into the trail. Because with high school back in session, um, it's a little awkward with them doing PE and they hike on this trail. So it's a little bit awkward as a 40 something year old woman <laughs> hiking on the trail with a whole bunch of high school students. There's a lot of kids out on this trail today, which is kind of cute. It's going to be fun. I'm going to show you what it is that I'm, I mean, we're going to go way past this that I'm going to show you. We're going to walk for a couple hours. Gotta find a new book though, because I'm almost done with that one, House in the Pine. How, how, I don't know what it was called. What I, I don't know why I can't remember it. Okay, let's go. There are so many people on the trail right now. It's kind of fun. You can see more people. I didn't show a lot of the people that were on the trail, because there's a lot of kids. I'm not going to show kids, but you can see there's a little crowd of people right up here, but I wonder what they're looking at. I wonder what they're looking at. doing three and a half miles I did pretty good I thought that there was part of the, the trail that I like to go on um, was closed off due to construction so I kind of backtracked and just was gonna do a loop just go back and forth and try and get my miles in on a little smaller stretch by that troll um, and I ran into a friend of ours the ones we play games with they were at a little dog park with their dog Anyway, and she's like, why don't you just go back and check and make sure it's open? Because it was open on the weekend. Um, and so, you know, I was just walking back. And sure right, enough, for those of you, it's, it was open. So I was able to go up into the trail. And it was great because it's just quiet. And that's what I love about the hiking. I don't like to go up <laughs> necessarily. But I am trying to increase my stamina to do more uphill hiking. So I did go up for probably about a mile. I did gain elevation just to try and like get my cardio up. Why is my blinker still going off? Um, that's the thing with Tesla. So it's not turned off until I get out of my car. <laughs> so that everything is still turned on. So it was really, really nice and came back to my car and I was driving home and I have had all of my water and my little protein drink and I was like, I just want to go home. I'm hungry. And then I remembered I have to go to Costco. <laughs> and it's like one o'clock now. And I did end up talking to my friend for a little while. So that's why it's a little bit later. But <sighs> I'm just tired. But I don't want to go home and shower and get cleaned up. 
come back out again, get the groceries, get home right when the kids get home from school, to then have to turn right around and go and do curriculum night, which is tonight for Chelsea for middle school. And so I was like, you know what, I'm already out. Um, so I might as well um, go to Costco now. I might grab a bite to eat here just from like the food court just to get something. Um, but I am just going to get basic fruits, veggies, um, cause that's just what we need for the week. Otherwise we're pretty stocked up on other stuff. It's just that the kids go through. We're not too bad. I actually need to like check my list cause I, I have like lettuce on there. We don't, we haven't gone through lettuce as much. We're definitely like out of milk. Oh, and the chair. I need to look for, I need to put that on here. I need a stadium chair, stadium chair. Cause I am not doing these football games without a stadium chair. <laughs> it's just, I, I, and anyway, some of the games I might actually just get up and go walking if I haven't been able to go walking that day. Um, just depends on the track if it's available to like walk on or if the area, if it's an away game, the area has a good area. I actually should just, I mean, this trail is literally by the high school that I was just on. Next time I think, maybe on Saturday, maybe that's what I'm going to do is I will get her there for her practice because she goes an hour early for practicing before the games, maybe during her practice time and a little bit of the first, I'll actually get in some walking on that hiking trail, uh, especially on these sunny days. Hmm. I should do that. I should do that. I should make use of that extra hour. Let's go into Costco, but I think I need to go to the bathroom because <laughs> I have drank through all of my water and uh yeah I didn't feel like anything at the food court I'll show you what I got in the in a second when I get home but I didn't feel like any, eating anything else so I'm just eating the raspberries I just bought obviously a much better choice <laughs> than a hot dog or a slice of pizza um, but they didn't have bananas like they didn't have any bananas or any blueberries so this fruit is the only thing I got, but we still have like a lot of fruit at home. I actually did get apples because I need to make the juice with apples. So I think because I got a pineapple um, the other day when we came to Costco, I'm going to do a pineapple, apple, carrot juice with some lemon in it and see if that's sweet enough for Abby. It'll be fine for me. Um, maybe use less carrot for Abby's drink, but she needs to get the extra nutrients from the vegetables, so. Um, but I'm gonna go home and um, unload this, take a shower, and then I actually might have to come back out. I just realized one errand that I need to do that I actually have to come back out for. But I need something at home in order to do it. <laughs> so I still have to go home and go back out. How was school? Good. Good? Mm -hmm. You need to go see the troll. Or actually, you're going to nightmare activity, but you won't be able to go. If you can get dad to pick you up right at 7.30, he can go run you over to the troll and meet up with the group, and then you can walk back with them. No. No? That's already... You'll get a half hour with him. The traffic. You will not be able to get there. You can see how it is. They are. Well... It's unfortunate. Cheerleading has now gotten in the way of her church activities. Any activity on Tuesdays. Any activity on Tuesdays. I just... Now I'm not going to be able to like make it to unless it's like a later, well, later in the like night. Nine. But usually they're not. They're usually done 8.15. Which is unfortunate. But if you don't go tonight, I will take you one of these nights or this weekend. Or we'll go early to go to your game on Saturday and I'll show it to you, okay? Because it is pretty cool. I didn't um, explain to you guys. It's, I'll, maybe I'll put, try and find the link to the artist because he's starting to put these trolls up all over the Northwest um, and he uses all recycled products. Um, he tries to mainly just use pallets, like wood pallets, which is kind of cool because it's just free products and reuses them and, and whatnot. But it was just so fun today to like, I mean, I, I went back and forth twice. And so it's just fun to like see the kids like, whoa, mom, it's so cool. But also like the moms were like, whoa, this is cool. And like grandmas and grandpas and like just couples walking their dogs. And it was just so fun to like see so many people. I haven't, I haven't seen that many people on the trail. 
um, in like ever, like since I've been walking on it. Um, so it was kind of fun to like know that this big statue thing is like something to like, you know, bring the community to. But also now it's kind of like a tourist attraction in, in a lot of ways. The troll, um, what do they call it? The troll bridge over in Ballard, the, the troll that's over underneath the, the Ballard Bridge um, in Seattle but was done for the same reason. He big cement troll and he's clutching a, a little VW um, bug um, car uh, that's cemented in. <laughs> um, I, there's talk that that's going to get removed, but then all of these other trolls are being put up by this other artist all over um, the Northwest. Um, there's one going to be one put on Vashon Island, and then there's, um, I think there's already one in Portland. I think there's some other ones going up um, close to us, close enough that we may be able to go see them as well. I just think it's really fun. And like, it, it gives like something to go and see if you're coming to visit the area that's different. And I like that it's in our little neck of the woods, because a lot of things are in Seattle. But like people want to get into the woods, like go out and enjoy nature, enjoy a trail. And that, that that's what this one is perfect for because it's the access to the trails that I go and hike and walk on are so easy to get to um, once you're on that little path to see the troll. So I just think it's kind of fun. I have been working on the computer trying to get Ashley's um, information all set up for her asthma at the school tomorrow. I'll go and pick up her prescription and, and turn that in. So yeah, I've just been working on the computer and watching the new season of Call the Midwife. I'm editing today's video now because I have plans to go on another walk tomorrow with a friend. And um, I know there's something else. I have to do all this running around stuff so I don't have as much time tomorrow to do editing. Plus I have two more curriculum nights to do. And next year I, I get to graduate to only two curriculum nights. I'll have middle school and high school curriculum nights. No. And actually, I don't even know that I'll go to Abby's. I won't have like dad and I both going to Abby and Chelsea because Abby will be a senior and I don't, she'll still be on. Technically, I, I don't even think I would really need to go to hers yeah, when hers happens. Because she only has three classes, Abby does. And it's ceramics, yearbook, and, and chemistry. So I really only need to go Chemistry. to the chemistry one because she's already done yearbook before and she's one of the senior editors on the on the team so it'd be nice to talk to the teacher because she likes Abby a lot um and I already know ceramics because both of them have taken ceramics before <laughs> and then I guess I'm done I guess I only have three classes that I had to go to for her I can actually ditch out after only three classes so that's kind of nice so for dad would probably make you go to Chelsea's well this year I only have to go to the three next year I would probably just try and go to one class of Abby that was maybe necessary to go to like chemistry or whatever and then just go to all the rest for Chelsea um but we can also tag team it as well but except for he doesn't know I'm gonna go and he doesn't pay attention to hang out with your teacher tonight what not mine. Oh no, it's not yours. I'm getting them mixed up. It's Chelsea's. And Chelsea, I, I've i already got my 10,000 steps in. I've already hit four miles, probably four plus miles for the day. And I haven't even gone to her school. She has five floors up, down, and up, and down. And she goes to like the fifth floor, down to the third, to mm -hmm. the second, to the first. I haven't, all the way up to the I actually haven't looked at her schedule. I know it. Um, it's in my purse, but I'm going to get a lot more steps in tonight. So I'm actually curious. I'm going to, I'm going to check it when I get to the school oh and see how many steps I actually get in. Cause that will be how many she gets in. She probably gets in more than that when she goes to lunch and whatnot. So I want dad's watch to see how many steps I do. I know. So we better leave it. Don't I want to see how many you do during, during cheerleading, especially during your four hour one that starts. Soon. I can't do, I can't wear them. I know you can't, but it would be interesting to know how many steps you actually do. I do like yeah. Okay, I gotta get busy. I have gotten just under an hour before I have to go do curriculum night and say goodnight to you guys. And I have to go. So. And you have to go what? Get ready for cheer. Oh, you have to go get it. Yes, you do. Kaylee will take you. Or Abby. Why don't you go and ask Abby if she'll take you. It's Abby. She might want to go. She might want to go. Fat lie. Well, they have a responsibility. They're using our cars. Easy.